first, I'm starting off with the platform bed. So just press extrusion, go to the square tool, and first just draw a random square. And then I'm going to edit the dimensions to a queen size. But you can do whatever size, king, twin, whatever. So now that I have that, I'm just going to center it on these reference lines from the top and the side so that it'll be centered correctly and then I'm going to offset the inside so that it can create an opening for the wood slats to go into and I did four inches but if you have direct dimensions and you're modeling after a specific bed obviously follow those dimensions and so I'm going to click the check mark go to the front view and as you can see this is how it looks in the 3d angle I'm now going to go in with the extrusion tool again and create wood slats across the length of the bed. If you would like to add a box spring to this bed, you can simply just draw a square extrusion and, you know, do your wood slats first and then your box spring, but it's totally up to you and whatever bed you're trying to model after. Now I'm just going to bring those up to 2 inches. So now I'm making the mattress and I'm going to do my 1 foot thick and I'm going to draw one line on one side on the reference side and one on the other and I'm going to pretty much make a rectangle and then I'm going to choose the arc fillet tool to connect the two ends together and make a smooth round corner. Once I do that I'm now just going to click the check mark and I'm going to adjust the bed length. Then I'm going to go to the front view and go ahead and make the headboard. I'm just making this in one piece just to show for the video. But if you have a specialty headboard or whatever, or just whatever, you can make it in two separate pieces. The legs and then the actual headboard. But I'm just doing it in one piece. There's always a little space between the bed and the headboard. So that's just what I did there. And then I'm going to go to the top view and move it all the way to the back. So that's what we have right now. And you can add legs to the bed if you want. So I'm just going to lift this up a little bit. And then just add four pegs at the end. But you don't have to. Once I'm done adding the legs, I'm just going to load it into my project. And don't mind this other stuff around it. This is just some other project I was working on. And I just wanted to quickly show you how to make this bed now you can download these pillows from Revit City for a decoration and that is where I got these so that is how you make a platform bed in Revit and now I'm going to move on to how to make both beds start off with drawing your bed um, mattress size you can do I've seen full size bunk beds you know there's twin but just go ahead and start off with that and then I'm just going to go to the 3D view to show you how that looks. That is actually the platform, but you want to make it to fit your mattress size. And I'm going to go to extrusion, the line tool, and I'm at the right view, so now I'm going to do the mattress just as we did in the platform bit. Here I'm going to the extrusion tool on the reference level and I'm just going to draw four squares on each end of the bed and I'm going to drag them all up because these are the poles that are going to go extend all the way up to the top bed and I'm drawing a temporary detail line to match the height for the poles and now I'm going to draw the guardrail for the bottom bed. And I'm going to do that by drawing a rectangle all the way across connecting the two poles. And on the reference level, I'm going to drag that all the way to the end. And I'm going to mirror that over to the other end, pressing the mirror tool. 
And now going back to the front view, I'm going to draw the balusters that are going to be supported by the guardrail. And I'm just going to draw one and copy them each over, spreading them four inches apart. And dragging that down on the reference level and pressing MM on my keyboard just so I can copy over. And that is what that looks like in the 3D view. Now it's time to draw the platform for the second level bed. And I'm just going to go to the right view and draw a rectangle across. I realize it's kind of thick now. So I do end up going back later and making it a little thinner like so. And now on the right view I'm just going to copy the mattress from the bottom bed to the top. Adjust it a tad. And that is how that's looking. And now it is time to draw the guardrail for the second level. And I'm just going to copy the one from the bottom level up and adjust it a tad bit. And then I'm going to do the same with the balusters. And just, I'm going to have to drag each one of them up. It's either this or draw them again. I think they're both time consuming, so just do whatever is convenient for you. And then I'm going to press MM and copy the guardrail and the balustrades over and that is what that looks like and now I'm on the right side view I'm going to draw the guardrail for the other side of the top level bed so once again just drawing a rectangle and pushing it over I actually did push it over a little too thick and I actually end up adjusting it a little later but that's just the gist of it and now I'm going to draw the guardrails for that side as well. I am copying the top guard rail down because I did make the balustrade for the top bed a little too long. But this is how that's looking. And now it's actually time to make the ladder, which I made the guard rail way too long. I forgot to uh, accommodate for the ladder when I was making it. But it's okay, easy fix. Just move it over and just start on the ladder. So I'm going to go with two poles on the end and connect them with horizontal poles. So just do two vertical poles. And then you can connect them with um, three or four horizontal poles, just depending on how tall your bunk beds are. So these are the ladders, and I'm just dragging those over. And I'm going to go back and delete that temporary line I had made here. And I'm going to load into project and save. These are just some pillows I'm adding once again from Reverend City for a decoration. And I'm just going to add them again here on the bottom bed. And boom, that is how you make a platform bed. And I'm just going to do a 3D view. And this is how you make bunk beds. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. God bless.